The deal took place out where anyone could see, right in the street. This puppy was just brought in from Poland. The little German shepherd, like so many others, was imported into Germany illegally. Stefan Klipstein ordered him up on the internet just a few hours ago. A quick search of the web, and he found an offer for a three-month-old German Shepherd for a thousand euros, half the price from a certified breeder. This is the one we're getting today, the one in the picture. He's so pretty. The animal rights activist started tracking down household pet smugglers 10 years ago. He says the business grew quickly when it went online and then exploded during the pandemic. 50,000 puppies are shipped into the European Union every week to be sold in member countries. It's not a little puppy farm business, it's a real organized mafia. And sadly, Germany is the main market for these puppies. Stefan Klipstein sets out traps for smugglers on a regular basis. Then he films them with hidden cameras. It's important to gather evidence because people deny everything as soon as the police show up. Today, a friend of Klipstein's is posing as the customer. Hello. A few minutes later, a couple shows up carrying a puppy. Meanwhile, Stefan Klipstein has called the police. The young man pretends to not speak German, and the conversation continues with the breeder in Poland. Stefan Klipstein checks out the puppy. His paperwork is a mess, he isn't vaccinated, and he's in poor health. Look at his teeth. This puppy can be older than six weeks, but he was sold as a 12 weeks old puppy. He should still be with his mother. Around 8 million puppies are needed to meet demand in Europe each year. And a big proportion of that comes from Eastern European countries, such as Poland. Since there is no border control anymore, they sell quickly online in the countries where demand is the highest. These dogs were rescued from a so-called kennel near the town of Kielce. Grigorz Bialowski takes in the puppies saved from the illegal commerce at his shelter in Kuflev. But he says he's fighting a business worth more than a billion euros each year. They've been saved from trafficking. His NGO has permission to seize animals in danger from illegal puppy farms. The dogs, he says, are often forced to live in cramped and horrible conditions. At the beginning of the year, he saved these dogs destined for the German market. They've been outside without shelter at minus 15 degrees Celsius, day and night, all year round. Since 2012, it's been legal in Poland to raise and sell domestic animals, pets. All you need to do is to create an association, and the door is open to a murky business that generates both profits and animal suffering. Every year we close down around 10 fake breeding farms, but the rest keep going because they know very well that the state doesn't do anything to fight animal trafficking. According to German animal rights activists, 80% of the dogs brought in from Eastern Europe are sick or unable to adapt to life in a family. This specialist in animal psychology says it's really buyer beware. They have physical injuries such as wounds or stomach problems due to bad food. And the costs for the medical treatments for such animals are very high. We were in one raid where there were a lot of dogs that were inbreeding. You can only imagine what kind of diseases result from that. So many of the dogs die before they're fully grown. But members of the European Parliament are drafting a new law called the Digital Services Act. If passed, it will force people who sell puppies online to register and identify themselves. 
kann man das schwer nicht nur die gewerblichen, sondern eben auch. It would affect commercial breeders, but also individual traders. They are the ones causing the problems. We have to make sure these people register and that the website performs inspections. That's our main objective and would at least allow us to discourage the most criminal breeders. But for now, it's business as usual and more profits than ever. According to the Four Paws charity, the price of puppies online has doubled since the start of the pandemic, a goldmine for breeders who flout the law. Thank you.